Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome back to Let's Game It Out. We're checking out Raft today, where we have to survive on the open water forever, and I'm sure we'll have some fun along the way. And also, this video is sponsored by NVIDIA GeForce Now, which is their cloud gaming service that lets you play your own PC games without needing a high-powered gaming rig or even installing the game locally. And to showcase its capabilities, this whole episode has been recorded using GeForce Now. So everything you're seeing is not coming from my own computer. It's coming from their computers. But I'll talk more about that later in the video. For now, let's get our Raft on Underway. So here we are in the big, beautiful world of Raft. Just you, me, this fellow, uh-huh, as well as this fun hook tool, my beautifully manicured fingernails, and miles of debris. Oh, and this is our Raft. So here's basically how this works. You have to collect resources as they go by, stuff like plastic, palm leaves, and planks. Some things like that barrel full of goodies was close enough for us to just pick up and grab, kind of like this plank of wood or this bottle. But some stuff is just going to drift on by, and that's what this tool is for. Huh. There we go. Come to Raft Daddy. So pretty much it's a game of just collecting as much stuff as we can, and thank God for the constant state of debris in the ocean. Now you might be wondering, Josh, what about all that stuff you missed? Why don't you just go swim out to it? I mean, we can, but I think you know it's gonna happen, which is we have a friend down here that wants to speak to us. So I think we'll just stay up here in the relative safety of our raft and slowly collect garbage. But don't worry though, we're not gonna be adrift forever. For example, I think I see something on the horizon. Oh, that's an island, all right. Hey, what's that noise? Hey, let go of that. Really? Took a bite out of my raft? Well, I think it's official. I know the name of that shark. It's definitely Grace. Anyway, let's check out this island. Oh, whoops. There goes my raft. Well, you know what? I'm sure we didn't need it that badly. I mean, after all, we found land. Wasn't that the point of it all? Besides, if we need another one, I'm sure we can just build it. Right? So let's check out what's on this island. Let's see, we got flowers, and trees, and all of our beloved trash. Yep, I think everything's gonna be okay. Wait a minute, what? How come I'm just, what happened to the island? And where's Grace to kill me? In fact, where's anything? Well, we're still out here. Haven't seen a soul. Oh, I see, we're getting a little weak in the knees, huh? Well, we'll try this again on the next go around. So this is what it felt like to be Jack at the end of Titanic. Okay, round two. So I looked it up and I figured out why the island disappears. Basically, the game is auto-generating stuff around your raft. And if you get too far away from stuff, it just despawns. You know, like that island. Or even Grace here. In other words, until we can actually anchor the raft, we gotta stick with it. Bye island, I'm sure we'll see other ones just like you. Okay, so let's fix up our raft a little bit. To do that, we're gonna build something called a building hammer, which allows us to add to our raft. So we're gonna add a bunch. Now we at least have just a little more breathing room. And while we keep pulling resources out of the water. We gotta be thinking about the next necessities we're gonna need. Most notably, ways to take care of water and food. And for that, we're gonna make a simple purifier and grill. Oh, I'm sorry, did I disturb your concentration? Okay, Grace, you know what? That's the last one you get. Because now we're gonna craft a wooden spear. No more tasty boat treats for you. Yeah, be scared. Even though you probably don't know I'm here. I like how for placing, your guy just aims his finger out. Like, yes, right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get off that. Unhand that. Yeah, that'll teach you. So much commotion. Anyway, back to food. And through our harvesting, we at some point found this potato. Mmm. Meanwhile, let's point to victory and put this thing down. There we go. That's how we're going to purify our water. We'll put the salt water in this thing. It condenses on that leaf and drops all the clean water in that cup over there. While we wait for that, let's go ahead and eat our cooked potato. Looks delicious. And that's pretty much how we stay alive. We eat literal garbage we've scavenged. We drink the delicious fresh water we've made. And we just keep amassing resources. We can also make a fishing rod, which is just adorable. Let's see, we just kind of, <laughs> yes, fish, come eat another fish looking thing. And there we go, a raw mackerel. On the grill you go. Okay, next order of business. See that island in the distance there? I feel like we're going to drift right by it. So let's see if we can't change our trajectory a little. To do that, we're going to need to build a sail. Okay, let's see, where should I, whoa, that's pretty big. Okay, yeah, sure, that's not in the way at all. Oh, yeah, it looks great. Unfurl, my pretty, and now face the proper direction. What do you want? Okay, stop, stop it. Or my spear could break. Oh, you win this round. I guess I should make things a little bit bigger so I can actually see. And to make sure we can hang out where the raft doesn't leave without us, we're gonna build this thing. A one-time use throwable anchor. And as soon as we're close enough, I'll just lazily dump this overboard. Now, be a good raft and stay put. You too, Grace. So it seems like these little islands have a couple of things to offer. We got stuff like mango trees. We can go ahead and just beat on them for a while and collect a whole bunch of mango and other stuff. In fact, the same goes for all these trees. Beat them up, take their resources, 
resources, leave nothing behind. I'm sure these trees have been here for thousands of years until I came along. Something I also haven't brought up yet is this guide thing right here. This is essentially the story component of the game. I want to believe I'm not one of these two, but this tiny child right here. And they just kind of put me on a raft and was like, have fun. You're a forward scout now. There's a bunch of starter rules that we already know, but here's the one I want to draw your attention to. Follow any radio frequencies. If it's still broadcasting, it's above water. A couple of things I actually found on the open water are these blueprints for a receiver and an antenna. So I guess this is what they meant. We need to build this. There's also one other thing we want to do on this island before we shove off, which is let's take a little swim. If we head on down here, we can pick up fun stuff like seaweed. And there's a couple other materials we need as well. If we bash at these things right here on the wall with our tool. Ah, metal ore. And we got something else here. Ah, copper, as well as random scrap metal. Oh, and I guess that noise is me drowning, so I should probably surface for air. You know, I don't know where Grace is. She's probably eating the whole boat right now. Oh, well, let's keep salvaging. And since I'll be doing this for a while, let's take a second and talk about our sponsor, which is NVIDIA GeForce Now. So I often get asked, Josh, what kind of computer do you have? I want to torment games like you do, but I want to make sure my computer can handle it. If you use GeForce Now, you can play your games over NVIDIA's cloud gaming network without having to upgrade your computer at all. It does this by streaming the game to you, and they're handling all the the graphics and processing and stuff on their end so you don't even have to worry about having a beefy PC. Basically the way it works is you fire up the app and you add your games that you already own via digital stores. I'll use the game Astroneer as an example since I was playing that recently. I just have to add it to my library, it'll authenticate with my Steam account to prove I own it, and off I go. No local downloading, I'm just in and playing. A bunch of my other personal favorites are also supported, including Planet Zoo and Satisfactory, and because cloud saves work from my Steam account onto the platform, it was only a couple of clicks before before I was instantly reliving the glory days of my horrible creations. Oh, it's gonna be okay, little guy. The library includes hundreds of ready-to-play titles, as well as a bunch of free-to-play games. There are two membership options, including a free plan, which lets you play for unlimited one-hour sessions at a time, whereas the Founders plan lets you play an uninterrupted six hours at a time. That plan also gives you priority access when you want to reconnect, and allows you to turn on NVIDIA's RTX option for real-time ray tracing and supported games. Both the free tier and the Founders tier allow you to reconnect connect an unlimited number of times and support 1080p at 60 frames per second. And on Windows and Mac, you've also got the GeForce Now in-game overlay, where compatible games allow you to use two features, including NVIDIA Highlights, that lets you capture your greatest gaming moments, and also a feature called Freestyle, which lets you apply filters to customize a game's look in real time. You can really go nuts with these filters, too. Like, sure, who doesn't love a little depth of field? But how about some letterbox? Yeah, now we're talking. Let's really cinemify that. Yeah. Oh, and let's also add this thing called Painterly. There we go. We just turned Astroneer into an award-winning short film. GeForce Now is available on Windows, Mac, Android devices, and NVIDIA Shield TV. So if this sounds interesting to you and you want to try it for yourself, the link you need is down in the description. Thanks again to NVIDIA for sponsoring. And now back to Raft. To my total surprise, the Raft is still there. And I think I see our next target, whatever that is off in the distance. While we slowly make our way to whatever that is, we're running a little low on space, so let's go ahead and make a small storage container. And there you go. Lovely. Let's put a bunch of our garbage in there. Okay, let's see. What do we got here? I don't have any other anchors, so we're gonna need to be quick. Huh. Okay, let's see. We can't search anything on here except apparently this one crate, which I will take. Oh god, come back, come back, come back. Ugh, jeez. And I guess once you take that one crate, off it goes. And I guess... <laughs> oh, so says Grace. Yep, that's all I needed to see. Let's get out of here. Looks like it had some fun miscellaneous stuff in it, including this vine goo, as well as this fish stew recipe. Cool, this looks easy to make. Two fish crying out for help, one egg, and a bucket full of glue. Can't wait. Grace, I said stop hitting the boat. Oh. <laughs> Grace, you okay there? Well, I guess we'll find out eventually. Nope, she's back. Welcome back, Grace. Okay, next order of business. First, let's extend the raft a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. There we go. Isn't that nice? In fact, besides supplies, is there really anything stopping me from just building all the way out here? Huh. Apparently not. Something tells me this is going to get real interesting in the future. See, look how useful this already is. Just aim this plank all the way over at the island. Anchor it right from here. Yes, surely this is going to work splendidly. 
repeatedly. Oh my god, I step away for two seconds and you eat the boat. In other news, I learned we can build a bed. Might as well put it right at the end of this plank. Ah, uh, yes, truly. The most ideal rest as I casually go underwater and get a nice quick view of my ever-present companion. Oh, good. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect. Shockingly, the boat's still holding together through the power of muscle memory. Anyway, we need to get started on building this stuff. And to do that, we're gonna unlock the research table so we can learn how to build it. Which, let's see, let's go ahead and put it right... Yeah, there we go. Hanging dangerously off the side like that. So the way we do some research is we pretty much just give it an item, we hit research, and it starts to tell us what kind of stuff we can unlock. So I'm just gonna feed it all the random stuff I have in my inventory. Look at all these things we can now learn. And now I get to see pop-ups forever. I did notice the receiver is one thing I haven't unlocked yet, because while I've unlocked planks, plastic, and hinges, I haven't researched circuit boards. We're just gonna start manufacturing stuff on our raft? Well, sign me up. Okay, so for these circuit boards, we've already researched plastic and vine goo, but we still need to unlock copper ingots. For that, we're gonna need a smelter. Let's see, so we could place this thing in, like, a logical location, or we could build something silly. Let's see, first we got this little platform up here, and let's see if we add some random support beams here, and then we can add another wooden floor <laughs> right here, and another stairway right here. Okay, perfect. This definitely won't lead to structural problems. Okay, so let's just go ahead. We'll just put one here, and one right off the edge like that. Okay, sensational. I can't believe this is working. Oh, you know what this could use? An amazing filter. Obviously, letterbox. Let's see, let's go as horizontal as we can. <laughs> wow, that's really horizontal. Okay, maybe not that horizontal. Okay, that's better. And let's give it a little tilt shift. Well, this isn't the moment I meant to capture, but I guess this is your time to shine, Grace. Thank you for your blessing. And how about a little watercolor? Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Now it's like we're playing a treasure map. Thanks, GeForce Now. I still can't believe these things work here. Two giant lumps of copper just smelting away as if this is completely normal. And there we go, a perfect copper ingot. We can finally learn how to make circuit boards. And ta-da, a nice handcrafted circuit board, just like our ancestors used to make. And now we can finally build the antenna and receiver. Okay, let's see, where do we wanna put this receiver? I didn't realize it came with a nice conference table too. Actually, you know what, let's take it up here. Okay, getting better. Let's put a couple more posts up and some more floors up here. Okay, now we're talking. We're gonna put it right up there. All we need to do is just go up this little spot and then go up this little little ramp, and there we go. Held up by those cables alone. Okay, let's see what it has to say. Well, if I'm reading this correctly, it means I need to have three antennas connected. Do you think it matters where I put them? Also, Grace, can you chill on these platforms? Wait, like, how lazy can I be about this? Can I just mash all three next to each other? Wow, not only are they too close to each other, they're at the wrong altitude. You need higher altitude? You just said the magic words. Then we'll have it turn, and then we'll have it go up this way for a little while. Yeah, so far, so good. Oh my god, and I can just put a platform right up here like this? I mean, this is what they wanted, right? Oh, now it's too far? I'm not sure what the problem is. Well, what if I go all the way over here? You know, to my open bed chambers. How would we feel about this? I mean, it runs the wire all the way back. Sigh. Also too far. I don't get it. Where do you want these things? Okay, fine. What if I just place one right here? That was good enough for you? Just one right there like that? Like a normal person? Okay. I set them up in totally normal places. I'm not happy about it, but there they are. And I'm I'm not taking this down. Not when we can almost reach the birds up there. Are you happy now? Okay, well, there we go. We found something. Well, let's head to it. Well, call it a hunch. I think this is probably the place. Let's see, what's the best way to anchor this? In you go. <laughs> well, all right, good enough for me. Okay, you wait right here, Raft. I'll be right back. Seems like the place is pretty well cleaned out, except for the occasional scrap. We got a whiteboard here and a note. Let's see, what did that note say? People, question mark? I bet these numbers are coordinates. And it looks like we're amassing some tabs here. We got first page, we got the radio tower, and we've got vegetarian. That's totally what it said. Don't rewind the video. Let's boot this thing up and put it in our new coordinates of 3358. Easy peasy, float our way to another island, squeezy. Bye, radio tower. Come on, Grace. Let's go on another adventure. Yeah, just like that. That's what I meant. You know what? I'm getting real tired of picking up all this trash. So while we wait to get to our next destination, I have an idea. We're gonna build these things called collection nets. Automatically catches items that float into it. That is just what I wanted. Okay, so as a test, let's see how this thing goes. You trash, get in there now. Oh, well, that's all I needed to see. Let's go ahead and build something beautiful.
Oh yeah, look at that. That's working splendidly. There was another game I played called Buoyancy, where I built what was effectively a giant wiper blade that just picked up trash, and it looks like we were able to do that again, because it turns out you can just keep on building. So far out that when I get to the end, and then I turn around, I can barely see my proper raft. What I'm trying to say is my days of manually salvaging are long gone. Hello, endless supplies. Oh, and I'm not the only one that's been busy. Grace has made sure it's harder and harder for me to get some sleep. Doesn't mean I can't still get over there, though. After all, the best sleep is when your adrenaline is fully pumping, wondering if you're gonna get pulled under the waves by a shark. And that's the secret to sleeping like a baby. Oh, you know what? I think we're here. Although it's hard to know where here is. But thank God I can just walk right up to it. Whoa! Or can I? Oh, it's a cruise liner. You know, as funny as it would be to put down one anchor to hold this whole thing in place, I'm thinking we can just use building to do it. Just kind of hook it around this piece right here. Okay. Whoa, oh, 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 easy, easy. Okay, I think we did it. I feel like this is like the equivalent of the entire raft holding on with just its pinky. But hey, it seems to be working, so let's go check this out. Corridors, great. Darkness, great. Definitely no people here. Hello? Is anyone gonna finish this game of eight ball? I call nexties. Okay, so there's actually a whole bunch of stuff you have to do to get up here, but the important part is I made it to the bridge. And what do we have here? Another note? Must we leave Lasagna Island to go to Balboa? Oh, and what's this? Steering wheel. Allows you to rotate. And what's this? Engine. Allows you to go different directions and increase your speed. Well, let's go make some additions, shall we? Okay, first things first, let's put this wheel down. I can think of no spot more suited for this than up here. Ah, yeah, that's fantastic. Hold to rotate smoothly. Okay, we'll see about that. Huh, you know, I couldn't place Y, but I think our raft might be stuck. I'll just leave this in the far right position and just go check it out. Uh Oh, you're fine. Let's just go ahead and cut it off right here. Let's get rid of the little hook we made. Whoa, what happened? Well, seems like it's free now. I also like all the cabling coming from my, let's call it the bridge. Oh my God, what is happening? Wait, is this the speed this thing can turn? What does this look like if I'm just in the water? It looks like a deranged robot trying to escape. That's what. Wow, I didn't realize adding a wheel would do so much. I like that Grace is over here like, ah, oh, what's happening? Okay, let's pull this back before I'm motion sick forever. And let's go make it worse by installing that motor. I don't even know how this is supposed to work. Can I put it anywhere? Ooh, stellar. Okay, let's see. One wheel equals a hundred dollars? Oh, and I gotta put planks in here. Okay, good thing we got a lot of those lying around. Hmm, seems like it's struggling a little bit. Oh, you know what? I think that's one wheel handles a hundred foundations. Okay, now I know why you're struggling. I guess we just need to add a couple more then. Okay, there we go. There's five beautiful thingamajigs. Let's make sure to fill them all up with wood. Oh yeah, that seems better. Okay, so I can't really tell how fast we're going, so I guess let's just jump in the water and find out. That's really chugging, all right. Well, I bet we can all see where this is going. Hold, please. This might take a little while. Okay, and there we go. Engines as far as the eye can see. And while I was making some modifications, I went ahead and added some other fins to each and every one of the other sides. Can't have us missing out on some of that trash, right? So I think a demonstration is in order. Oh, yeah, collect all that trash. <laughs> and now this way, no trash gets away. All for me. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and attempt to aim ourselves towards the big blue dot. Okay, I think that should be about good. Let's go start up the engines. You're fine. Oh boy, this is gonna take a while. And off it goes. I have absolutely no idea if it's going fast or not. The only thing I know is I'm about to hit my face and lose a bunch of teeth. Okay, it's been a little while, but we're almost there. Or at least I assume. You know, actually, I don't think we're getting any closer. And I think I know why. Ah, uh, yeah, we've already arrived. We're just drilling into this forever. Well, that's okay. We'll just turn the wheel a little bit. Okay, and there we go. Easy, easy. And now hard left. So let's see, how do we think we're gonna get up there? This seems like an easy solution. Thank God we've been sucking up so much trash this whole time. <laughs> Woo, okay, we made it. Oh, well, this is very serene. Hey, what's this? Relay station? Don't mind if I do. Bear coming to kill me? Don't mind if I do. He's like, I haven't seen anyone in a hundred years. I was just coming to say hi. Ah! Mama bear coming to ruin my existence? Now that I do mind. Okay, I managed to sneak inside this cave she was guarding. I'm just gonna take whatever this this is a machete. All my prayers have been answered. And just out of spite, let's take all her mushrooms, passive aggressively at a distance, eat them all behind her, and then maybe sneak up on her. Oh God. <laughs> okay, cool story. You know, I think I'll just take my chances with Grace. At least I know what to expect. This is actually the last story island for now in Raft. But you know, when they drop new content, perhaps we'll take a look at 
what comes next. So I hope you had fun. I know I did. And I'm pretty sure so did Grace. I'll take that as a yes. Thanks again to NVIDIA GeForce Now for sponsoring this video. Again, my entire Raft playthrough here was done using their service. Overall, I really enjoyed my time using it. And it was really nice to have someone else's computer handle the brunt. So if it seemed like something you're interested in, the link you need is in the description. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.